before we begin, make sure you find this guy in the item world a bunch of times and talk to him. Uh, clearly I was not able to uh, do a thing this time, but yeah, keep talking to this guy anytime you find him in an item world. Gotta find him a certain number of times, I think. Says he'll be waiting. Alright, let's, uh... Actually... Okay, yeah. Let's get out of here. Hey, everyone. Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguy 4. Promise Revisited. It's, uh, been a while since, uh, my last, uh, video. I mean, I've streamed a couple of times, but... Yeah. And I'm thinking I should probably close my door before we continue. But yeah, uh, give me a second here. Now that bit of silliness is taken care of. Yeah, I just rearranged all the furniture in my room, so uh, sorry if my voice sounds different. It's because my microphone is in a different place. <laughs> Can't really help that now, can I? Alright, so yeah, uh, you can see I've been leveling up my uh, trapezohedron uh, pretty nicely. But that is not what we are here for. We are here because uh, Prinny Curtis wants to pick a fight with us. I think. Uh... No, not you. Was I wrong? Uh, how do I how do I get to him? Do I have to go back to the normal base? Oh, wait, I bet I need to pass a bill to fight him. Yeah, fight the Defender of Earth. Alright, what did that say? 64k? Well, I guess... I guess we'll figure it out when I go to edit this. <laughs> Naturally. But that's okay, because we have the power of bribery! Yay, lobbyists! There are only so many political jokes I can make before it gets old. <laughs> okay. Now let's, uh... No, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm loading my other map. Yeah. Let's go back to Phantom Island. So yeah, uh, anyway. Defender of Earth appears! Prinny Curtis! No voice acting! Yep, there, there's Mr. Curtis. Uh, apparently all of our Prinnies are friends with him. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Fuka. Who said all printies have to be the same?
It's a uh, it's it's a uh, Curtis's theme song. Mad to changes to guns. Bundle attack. Uh, okay. So you can do like up to eighty percent extra damage if. Well, no, that. If I taught him magic, then yes, that would be the case. But uh, this does not mesh what very well with the uh, with the Prinny's, uh move set. But maybe Curtis is different. Let's see. All right, extra damage when his HP is lower, and also extra damage when his SP is lower. Oh yeah, that's definitely different. Okay. So yeah, he could theoretically do up to 70% extra damage on a B-rank skill. That's not bad. As for his aptitudes, 120% attack and int, that's uh, pretty good. I mean, he could go for whichever moveset he wanted, really, I think. Unfortunately, he is joining us really late, so because I did not know you could actually unlock him. So, uh, sorry, Curtis. You're a cool character, but you're not going to be part of our party. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> he is pretty cute. Okay, Curtis has joined the party. And we got some extra cheat points. Uh, I sure wish I saw those earlier. But we are not done yet for today because uh, once I save the game, There is a uh, yet another character we have yet to unlock that I was also not aware of until pretty recently. You know, I was just checking to see if Fox came back. <laughs> I guess his internet is busted or something. Anyway, we are going up to this little doggy here up on the roof, our pirate editor. Because because we are putting our crew to the test. I believe what we need to do is command it. You know what? No, this is stupid. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually look it up before I commit to anything dumb. All right, it is indeed command attack. You will complete with the number of you will compete with the number of commands used to clear the dungeon. It's just like in Disgaea 3, I imagine. Instead, you'll fight using a pirate ship of your choice and its crew. Choose one item. The item chosen here, and the participating members will gain something cool. And I'll explain that later. Defeat all enemy units. Enter the dimension gate, which activates on activating the event area. Place the clear sphere on top of your pirate ship. Oh, okay. Uh, makes me kind of wish I tried this sooner. Alright, let's go in the power glove, I guess. 
I don't have a crew on my ship. Alright, let's see here. These two fur are bouncing. Let's see, uh Lance for his throwing ability. Tyrant Valvatores for uh, raw attack power. Sylvia because she lets the unit move again. Uh, where's Gingerbread? Gingerbread because he is our runner. Stella for attack power. See, regular Valvatores for attack power. At least two more. Desco for uh, for bouncing. And Mercury for bouncing. That's gonna be everybody. Alright, that's what we got. Let's go, command attack. Alright, let's see. There's our clear sphere. Actually, I can't pick it up. One, two, three. That's fine. That we can get Desco over there. Eska has advanced to the next stage. Alright, let's see. I see... Three monsters. Stella, can you reach with... Can you reach those two with magic? Probably. Wait, was there more? Oh, there were two more. Okay. Desco, that is... problematic. Okay, this is still fine. Let's get Lance out here, followed by Desco. And silence. I should have known. All right, where's that silence block? There it is. Smash it. And 
Yog Sothoth, or however you pronounce that. I am not a student of Elder Scroll. <laughs> student of computer science. Which is kind of the same thing as Eldritch Lore if you really think about it. <laughs> Alright, create. Yeah. Prie and Sylvia get over here. There's our gatekeeper. Which, if uh, Stella can reach... can move on. Here's our clear sphere. Okay, just making sure I'm uh, not getting screwed out of stuff here. That is that is too risky. Let's see, that's too high to go up. All right, in that case, uh, we are sending Gingerbread and Desco to, um, that doesn't work either. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, new plan. We are throwing Gingerbread and Desco. Uh, no, we're not. We're throwing some somebody completely different, like, for example, Stella. And Eska. We will throw them onto the event stage. Send Gingerbread to uh, wipe out a whole bunch of guys. And now we are free to get on. I do like this mode a lot. It uh, gets you into the uh, habit of thinking of this guy as actually a strategy game. Let's see. Alright, looks like we're doing this again. There's our guy, which we might be able to smash if, uh... Yeah. Now we run for it. Okay, for a second I thought max commands was a limit, but no, it's just, uh, just my high score. Or my low score, in this case. Simple enough. Let's see here. Yeah, 
This is probably the simplest. <laughs> it only takes four commands to do. Because uh, we are kind of broken. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to actually get off the boat in order to, uh... think we may actually have to get these guys out of the way. That doesn't work. Well, it will if I put Esco over there. It's just a little ugly. Stage here is unobstructed this time. That's good. Well, thank you kindly for being right there. the boss. Simple enough. Oh yeah, I took the accelerator off uh, Tyrant Val so he could uh, equip one of my uh, legendary Arcadias. Same thing for uh, for Stella, since she is our uh, item duplicator. Um, a new map was added. Okay, 52 commands. Uh, hardly a world record or anything, but very cool. We got a treasure map. Neat. So yeah, that was command attack. So let's finish this off by uh, seeing who is wanting to join our party. Overlord's daughter. Better not be Sicily. It's nobody! Oh, she, she's freaking badass. That can only mean one thing. It's Peta from the remake of Makai Kingdom.
She wants to be a senator, but she's already an overlord. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> she does love her daddy a whole lot. <laughs> I think it's a little different in your case, Fuka. got a couple of new songs. Zeta's Daughter. All range plus. Adjacent allies attacks and magic gain two more panels in range. Sounds like a very nice support unit for Barrel in particular. When not next to foes, critical and base damage increased by 20%. Okay, so she's a ranged attacker. She's good with bows, guns, and staves. And her aptitudes very clearly favor guns. All right. Justice! Where's a the measle? There he is. Go get her! Measles heard the name. <laughs> Peta joins the crew. Is there anything else for us to do? Doesn't look like it just yet. That being said, uh, let's take a look at good old Tyrant Valvatora's stats. Yes, that is eight nines in a row. Valatores has hit the attack cap, which means uh, we are probably ready for Pringer X. <laughs> we'll take him on in the next episode, though. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.